Hi, I'm Chris with HPC and I'm really excited to give you guys a behind the scenes look of how we build the American made HPC Revolution. It's an off-road beast, it's our Halo product and uh, I think it'll be really interesting for you guys to see how much work actually goes behind building these things. If you're interested in hearing more of how the Revolution came to be and the different iterations and design challenges we had, stay tuned to the end of the video and I'm going to give you guys uh, the full synopsis on that. This video is going to go behind the scenes of how we make our Halo product, the USA-made HPC Revolution. We are dedicated to bucking the trend of mass production overseas and proudly manufacture in the United States. Even every high-performance battery system we offer is made right here in the USA as well. We will continue to innovate and produce as many USA-made products as we can. Shown here are some of the 3D CAD models of the new HPC Revolution AT. The Revolution AT was the world's first production downhill fat bike with an unheard of 9 inches of frame travel and capable of accommodating up to 5 inch tires the Revolution AT is truly in a class all its own. This is how we manufacture our CNC machine parts. Every single part on the Revolution is made from scratch from either 6061 or 7075 aluminum. There are zero off-the-shelf parts used anywhere on the entire frame. Even the head tubes seen here are much thicker than a traditional head tube to stand up to the extreme forces generated by such a fast off-road machine. After all machine parts and flat plate parts have been manufactured, each frame is jigged up and professionally TIG welded by a very talented and experienced welder with over 20 years of frame building and aerospace experience. All Revolution frames are proudly hand-built in the USA in small lot batches of only 20 frames at a time. Next, the welded frames are cooled down and then go on to be heat treated in a giant oven. After heat treat, the frames are promptly put into the spray quench booth where water can evenly coat each frame quickly and efficiently. All frames are then manually measured and straightened to ensure ease of assembly. Finally, it is put back in the oven to age to T6 specifications. After the frame is cooled, we do a media blast to clean the frame and get ready for powder coat. During the powder coating stage, we like to heat the frame up to a specific temperature to get the electrically charged particles to stick in all nooks and crannies on the frame. Depending on the color chosen, it can be either one stage or two stage powder coating process. The trick here is getting the powder to stick as evenly as possible. After the newly powder coated frame is dry, we do a final bore on the bottom bracket to be sure the size is exactly perfect to put on the Schlump high speed drive which allows a rider to pedal at speeds above 50 miles per hour. Before we build the frame from the ground up, I wanted to briefly touch on some recent media the Revolution has been featured in. Rob Report has covered both the Revolution X and the Revolution AT. It noted the Revolution X as one of the fastest electric bikes ever made, and the Revolution AT in its top 10 toys of summer for 2018. Popular Mechanics recently published a review of the Revolution in its article, Every Kind of Bike is Going Electric. Top Gear featured the Revolution on the History Channel, pitting the Revolution X versus the Alfa Romeo 4C carbon fiber sports car, seeing which was fastest to get around in LA traffic. The Discovery Channel has an upcoming feature called Tech Toys featuring the Revolution AT and recently just filmed the pilot for Battle Tested in which they used another bike called the HPC Typhoon which was put through its paces by two ex-Special Forces soldiers and gave recommendations on using the Typhoon for military applications. There is a link to this show in the description, it was a really wild and really fun show to do. Finally, at the La Sierra e-bike festival, the Revolution 5.0 set an all-time course record finishing the La Sierra 6.5 mile loop in a blistering 15 minutes and 24 seconds. Considering this time is faster than a DIY 14,000 watt bike that showed up, it goes to show that engineering matters and that making a cohesive unit that blends suspension geometry with the ability to put massive power down efficiently is more important than just throwing big power on a frame with little or no engineering.
First, we're going to put the main front triangle on the build stand. Then, we're going to get the CNC swing arm and press in the bearings on both sides. After that, we're going to put in the main pivot axle and pivot bolt. Now it's time to connect the 9.5 inch by 3 inch rear shock. After that, we're going to properly install the headset. After headset installation, if it has not been done already, we will manually build each wheel. By cutting the spokes to the exact drive and non-drive side length, we are able to keep the wheel properly dished and centered in the frame. We use custom built 3D drilled rims that match the spoke pattern and diameter of our motors to maximize wheel strength and mitigate broken spokes. Wheels are properly tensioned and dished by hand for each and every bike that comes through our factory, not just the Revolution. This particular Revolution features Magura MT7 e-brakes, which are quad piston brakes with unbelievable stopping power and are standard on our most popular Revolution model, the Revolution X. The Schlump High Speed Drive is another amazing piece of equipment that changes from a 34 to 85 tooth equivalent chainring with a click of your heel to enable ultra high speed pedaling. Every Revolution is properly tested both inside the factory and outside on test rides before shipping to the customer. One of the most important things we do with every bike we sell is to fully dyno test each and every power system of every bike we sell. This allows us to get the most efficient, most powerful, and most real-world capable bikes that we can possibly produce. We spend countless thousands of hours fine-tuning our controllers and power delivery of our motors. We are beyond proud to deliver a truly engineered product that is second to none in terms of performance, looks, suspension performance, and quality. Thank you for choosing HPC.